what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Top 10 Tuesday episode. This is episode 87, I believe. And uh, for this week, I'm decided that I'm going to go with uh, Top 10 Horror Trailer Compilation uh, videos, uh, DVDs and, you know, DVD sets and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm a really big fan of watching horror trailer compilations. It's kind of ironic a little bit because I don't watch new trailers uh, for like newer films, new contemporary films at all. I try to avoid them like the plague. But then again, I will sit down and watch three to four hours of old vintage ones all day long. They're just fantastic to watch. I really like putting these things on before I go to bed because I don't have to, um, you know, concentrate on a film. It's just there and it's, you know, they're trailers, man. You don't really have to concentrate too hard on them, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this, uh, this top 10 list. In at number 10 is a really, really fun one. Um, Horrible Horror, uh, hosted by the cool ghoul Zachary, TV's original horror show host. Um, this was a TV special that was on, I believe it aired in 86, I want to say. Um, now this set right here is a lot longer. It's uh, the, the actual show itself is about an hour longer, plus it has a whole pile of special features. As you can see, it's a two disc set. Um, but very cool, man. This guy right here, the way he talks and introduces these, uh, these old vintage, um, you know, trailers for bad horror films, you know, I love it. The best of the worst. Like there's not too many of these ones, but, um, it's just, it's something you got to see. It looks very old school and vintage. It's just, it's terrible quality, but it's so good. It, It's kind of meant to be like that. It's, I don't know, you have to see it to believe it, but very, very cool stuff. This actually has a lot of really interesting things on it. Um, You know, it's got plus, it's got rare footage of like Lon Chaney and Bella Gossi and Boris Karloff, among things, and, and pretty cool uh, special features and stuff. But yeah, I mean, this one right here, what you're going to get is a lot of trailers from, you know, the 50s and 40s and 50s and 60s from, you know, various old and bad uh, horror and sci-fi films, but this is really entertaining. I was just loving this dude, man. He was just hilarious to listen to. Just some of the lines that he was spewing out were just, they totally had me going. So, um, but yeah, horrible horror, two disc sets. And I actually got this on Amazon. I think it was a prime deal and it was like, it was under 10 bucks for this. So that was a very cool deal. I just, you know, I never even heard of it before, but took a chance on it. It looks very cheap from the cover, but it's, it's a good set. So Horrible Horror, in at number 10. In at number 9 is uh, is Mad Ron's Previews from Hell. Now, this was something that aired, or not aired, I think it came out in 1987, I want to say. I think it does say in the back. Yeah, 1987. And it's pretty interesting, too, because the intros and interludes and stuff done by Mad Ron um, are done like, they're almost shot on video. And they're just super entertaining, man. It's it's him in this theater with a whole pile of ghouls and goblins and, you know, zombies and things like that. And they kind of introduce the uh, the trailers and, and whatnot. And it's just, it's so much fun to watch. It's just crazy fun. So you, if you want, you can pause that right there. That's what's on this one for trailers. So as you can see, it's like 60s, 70s, and, you know, 80s stuff, I guess. Um, for, actually, it looks like mostly 60s and 70s, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, so those are the trailers that are on here. But, yeah, it's just, it's it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, this isn't actually part of the list, but this is part two. Uh, Celluloid Bloodbath, more previews from hell. This is one that came out in the 2000s. It was a long way to the sequel uh, to the first one, uh, 2012. And this one's actually kind of interesting, too, because uh, here's all the trailers that are on here. And uh, there's, like, commentaries for some of the trailers and stuff from like you know all these classic horror um people basically so yeah this is actually pretty interesting also so i, I do recommend both these um mad runs previews from hell and of course celluloid bloodbath more previews from hell very cool stuff so check those out in at number nine in at number eight is a very, very fun one. I gotta thank my man, Movie Guy 666 Zach, for sending me the, this one over my way. And it's a something weird, extra weird sampler. Uh, this is basically just a, a trailer compilation of tons of movies that they have actually released themselves. And uh, it's, it's really interesting when you go through the back of, you know, if you read on the back here of all the trailers that are on here, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long this one is, but they've released just a, like a mad circle of uh, very cool things, but this is very, very 
awesome to watch, man. Um, I mean, a lot of these trailers have been done on other uh, compilations and stuff, but I have to say, man, this one's super, super fun. Yeah, it's really good stuff, man, but yeah. So, um, something weird, extra, extra weird. So if you're into something weird video, man, give this one a shot, man. It's just a lot of sleaze and good stuff on there, man. So that's in at number eight. In at number seven is a box set called Festival of Frights, the three disc collection. It has over a hundred classic monsters and horror movie trailers, of course, on a, you know, individual disc like that. And basically what this is, is this is all trailers from, uh, I want to say like the fifties and fifties and sixties and stuff. Kind of gives you an idea of what these are. Here's volume one. Um, again, just so many classic ones, you know, ones that you've seen many, many times, but this is a nice compilation to have them all kind of in their own themed out set. Cause these are specific to being old school and shit. So, um, and the running time is about 220 in these, a lot of these are really long compilations. So, uh, but yeah, here's all the covers for them. I don't want to pull them out, but this is another set that was really cheap too. Festival of Fright. I believe this one was only about $15 for the whole thing. So, um, if you're into old, you know, vintage, uh, trailers, it's very cool to have this all in one because like a lot of the other sets, you'll see a lot of these trailers mixed in with newer ones and stuff. But if you want to theme it out, um, check out Festival of Fright. Really fantastic stuff. Love that one. And that was in at number seven. In at number six is an interesting one. Uh, released by released by Draft House uh, Pictures um, or Draft House Films, and it's called Trailer War. Now this one is basically the theme of this one is to have like the wackiest trailers from like around the world. It's all different subgenre or genres and subgenres. Um, you know, and anything from action to sci-fi to horror exploitation. Kung Fu, but man, some of the trailers on here are just outrageous. So much fun to watch, and like I mean, ridiculous trailers. Some of the, this thing had me busting out watching this. I, there were some films on here I'd never even heard of, and I was I gotta seek these fucking things out, man. It's just hilarious. So this one's just over two, well, it's 113 minutes, um, maybe with the features and stuff over two hours. But yeah, if you're into some wacky, wacky shit, this is a totally different trailer compilation. Very, very cool stuff. I highly recommend this. If you can still find this, I think this may be out of print now. I'm not 100% sure what the deal is with this. Uh, I know it did go out of print. I think it went back into print, but it might be out of print. I don't know what the whole story is with that. Someone correct me, but yeah, if you can find this, get your hands on it. Very cool stuff. And so that's in the number six. And at number five is, of course, Ausploitation trailer explosion from Inner Vision, um, courtesy of Severn Films. Uh, yeah, th this is self-explanatory. This is all Ausploitation. I am. I've said a million in a million different videos. I'm such a massive fan of of Aussie exploitation, Aussie films in general. I just love Australian cinema and, and New Zealand cinema too. You know, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is just fucking amazing, man. So much fun. Uh, you're going to see a lot of trailers on here that you've probably seen before, but it's nice to have, you know, this in a theme package of all Australian films. The one that really sticks out right there is Wake and Fright. It's probably my favorite Australian flick of all time. I love that movie so much. I watch it way too much. Um, but yeah, exploitation, trailer explosion, good stuff, man. This one runs about... 165 minutes, uh, so, you know, it's pushing three hours kind of thing, and, uh, yeah, from 1970 to 19, er, 1986, so, you know what you're getting there, fucking awesome, really, really cool stuff, and that was number five, and then number four is this really cool three-disc set, uh, called, um, by Stephen Romero presents Shock Festival, um, this is awesome, man, this is a really interesting long set, I, I can't remember how long this runs, it probably says somewhere on here that I can't even see, but, um, so what you got here on the first disc is, you know, an explosion of trailer marathon. And then, and then, uh, somewhere around here, you have a bunch of like newly made trailers. It was like, you know, this, this was a, a real festival and it got a whole pile of like indie filmmakers to make all these fake trailers and they've all put them on here and stuff. And, um, I believe actually the guy that made dead bugs on the carpet, I think it was, I'd post a picture of this on my Instagram and he actually commented on it and said he made that. So, um, but yeah, so you got a whole pile of these new, newly done trailers and stuff, disc two, the same type of thing. And then disc three, you got, uh, over three, over 300 original radio spots and stuff. Uh, it's just a massive box set. It's, there's so much stuff on this, um, 
I think it's something like 12 hours worth of things or something like that, but this is like a brick. It comes with a poster inside, this awesome slip cover. Uh, check out the Shock Festival, man. There's lots of goodies in here, lots of features, lots of really cool, interesting things. It's not just a trailer compilation. It's much, much more. So, um, yeah, give this one a shot. Shock Festival. Awesome stuff. And at number four, and at number three is Trailer Trauma. Um, this is really fantastic. I really like the way, uh, what is this, Garage, Garage House Pictures? Uh, pretty new company. I think they only have about three releases and stuff. I really like what they did with this. Um, I've watched this actually a couple times now, uh, but it's kind of cool. Here's a list of films that they put in here. They kind of mixed it all over the place. Very, very cool stuff. What caught my attention right away when I opened this up for the first time was Deathbed. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. They have Deathbed in there. Uh, you don't see that trailer in a lot of compilations. Very cool. But a very unique uh, kind of blend of trailers and some very interesting ones. This was very well done. Looks good. Um, so yeah, I can't recommend this one enough. And of course there is a sequel to it, uh, Drive-In Monsterama, uh, Trailer Trauma 2. Uh, same type of deal. Um, this one right here actually runs a lot longer. It's about 200 minutes. So we're talking like, you know, three and a half hours here, pretty much of trailers. And this is what's listed in there. Um, yeah, again, very, very cool stuff. You guys can read that. It's written in red, but... This one's just as fantastic. A little bit longer than the other one. I think the other one is roughly two and a half hours long. If I want to say 137 minutes, so, you know, just over two hours. But, yeah, highly recommend Trailer Trauma 1 and 2. Uh, these are awesome. Really cool additions. And number three, and then number two, of course, is 42nd Street Forever, the Blu-ray edition, which actually is volume one and volume two plus bonus uh, feature um, trailers and stuff in here. Um, so I do have volume three, four, and five also, but I actually do watch this one the most because this one is like four hours long, runs 225 minutes. It's just got an amazing amount of trailers, and this is one that I've put on many times playing poker, actually at this very table I'm sitting at right now, uh, for background eye candy. It's kind of funny to have this on because it starts conversations like every time someone looks behind them or looks at the TV, there's always tits on there. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but this is just a great blend of, obviously, the films that played on 42nd Street uh, in New York back in the day. Um, kind of gives you a general idea of what you're going to see on there. There's so fucking many, just so much sleaze, so much exploitation, horror, sci-fi, everything in there. So this is really fantastic. What a great set. And in number two, and in at number one is this one right here, man, Drive-In Delirium. Now this is just amazing. This is such an amazing set. Four disc set. Uh, I believe it runs something like 12 hours or 13 hours or 14 or something like that. Um, over 350 exploitation trailers, Uncut Uncensored, Remastered. This is a very cool set, um, four discs. And the cool thing about this is, is that, I think I showed this in my recent update too, but it does break it down, you know, into certain categories of trailers. And it's cool, man. It has like old commercials in this, grindhouse things, and just kind of special add-ins and stuff. Now, there is actually a volume two and a volume three of this also. Apparently volume two and volume three are out of print. Um, my man, Explosive Action from Australia actually told me that, because this is from Australia as being Umbrella, um, which is kind of weird. You'd think that part, uh, volume one would be out of print and two and three wouldn't be, but unfortunately they are out of print, so I need to track this down, but you know, he, apparently they're just fantastic too. I looked at them, uh, but um, yeah, it says over 12 hours. So you can't really go wrong with this. It's just it's just so ridiculous. Very, very well done set. Very nice presentation. So yeah. And that is in at number one. So do a quick little recap here. We got Horrible Horror at number 10. Number nine, we got Mad Ron's Previews from Hell. Number eight, we got uh, the Something Weird compilation. Uh, number seven, Festival of Fright. Number six, Trailer War uh, from Draft House. Very cool. Um, number six. We got Ozploitation, number five, Shock Festival, number four. No, I totally screwed up this number. That's the number three. Uh, 40 Seconds, Three Forever, number two, and Drive and Delirium, number one. You guys get the picture anyways. There is the 10. Um, there's a lot more out there. I do have a few more. Um, but yeah, I'm a really big fan of these, man. I, I can never get enough of these old school trailers. I like how some of these are so specific to what they are, which is very cool too, so... But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for episode 87. Check you next week. Uh, like I always say, go over and check out everyone else's videos that do this, this series with me. 
Talk to you guys later. Peace out.